Hello everybody, Calibus here, back with some more Hearthstone. Today we're doing our brother-on-brother -brother bashing tournament. In today's matchup, we're going to have our older brother, Jay Sinister slash Jason, taking on my younger brother, Michael. Uh, Michael has already set up the challenge, so Jason, if you're ready, accept that. I will accept that. And the battle begins. Hopefully it'll be another three in a row with the rogue. You can only hope. Valir versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Watch your back. Mm. Alright, so Jason gets to go first, has a couple one drops, but will he use one? Just ends his turn, gives it over to Michael's Hunter. Michael opens up with the board, going straight in, hitting him with that damage. Jason pulls out a dagger that pokes the boar in the eye, takes him off the field. Ouch, he's got the weed on me. Alright, whittling Jason down. Is he worried? Well. Alright, forced to play a Shadow Sun Cleric with nothing to buff. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Suboptimal play, but sometimes when you have a chance to play a minion, you just have to play one. Alright, brings out a monkey to try to stop you. Brings out a Yeti, a high value minion. Fortunately, the cleric is not strong enough to take out the monkey. My point of view would have been a better option, might have been to abusive sergeant the sun cleric so she would have been strong enough to kill him and then use your leftover mana to make uh, the Acolyte of Pain. But having the Yeti on the board isn't bad either. Fortunately, now he could trade his monkey for your cleric if he wants to, if he doesn't have another way to do it. He has four mana. He now has enough mana to do a multi-shot if he has that. The throws up a secret instead. Let's see if he uses his monkey to kill the cleric. Brings out a hyena, so now when the monkey dies, it's going to buff the hyena. Didn't do. Well, it is a taunt, so he figures you're gonna have to kill the monkey first anyway, so it's better to. I mean. Playing the quest adventurer. Here's a secret, he's gonna get sniped. Oh, that hurts. Michael says there's gonna be none of that this game. Push forward. Push forward. Alright, so you're still in control of the board with the Yeti. And I got a pair of knives. Here we go. 
So it seems like Jay Sinister is keeping board control of this game right now. Uh, Michael still has a little bit of a damage lead, but he's having a hard time keeping his minions up. Little tracking going on. He finds nothing. Our Yeti is still a tough minion for him to deal with. Bringing out a buzzard with the follow up of a coin and a kill command. He's using the kill command to take out the Yeti. That was that was questionable, questionable at best, I think, on his part. I mean, I guess he felt like he had to get rid of the Yeti if that was his only way to do it. Fine. Here we go. He's gonna find a knife to kill the buzzard and get another card. Pulls the backstab. So that's kind of why the buzzard <laughs> kill command was a questionable play. I mean, his buzzard didn't give him a single card draw, and now he's at a card disadvantage. He only go. had three cards. I'm not sure how many ways he has to draw cards in his deck. So playing the buzzer without a follow-up beast behind it, or more, more a better choice having a the charge, to unleash the hounds card and follow up the buzzer seems a bit of a waste. Pulls himself a Leoc with his animal companion card. Backstab coming out on Leoc brings him down to two life. Abusive Sergeant on the light is giving him enough strength to finish off Leoc. And since Leoc only does two damage, that actually gives him an extra card draw since he wasn't able to finish him off. So light stays on the board. You still have six mana to play with. It was really a choice between Assassin Blade and Deadly Poison versus Illidan, and he goes it with the blade with the poison. And go. doing a hard hit. Here we go. So Jason is banking on the fact that uh, Michael doesn't have a slime in his deck, because if he does, then that blade's gonna get slimed. But hunters don't tend to run with slimes a lot because they're not a beast, mm -hmm. and they kind of rely on beast synergy or else uh, rush down. Seems like Michael has a beast synergy deck, so it's probably not a slime in there. He got his self to unleash the hounds, which he'll be able to clear his board with the hounds. He's still keeping a slight health advantage. Another card for Jay-Z, pulls the shadow step. Sitting with two assassinates. A Sinister Strike and a buffed up Assassin Blade. So it looks like it's time to be not prepared. And follow up with the Sinister Strike and a little 3 damage. Jason has finally took the lead on health. Oh wait, I guess not. He's down at 18. Jason refuses to have more life than Michael. Refuses. So Jason City with two assassinates, a stronger board, including a golden legendary and a shadow step. Alright, Michael brings out a sea giant to try to counter the Illidan. Should be assassinated next round. Geek cost, huh? That's his whole thing. Yep, I'm not really sure why he hasn't ended his turn. Cold blood coming up. 
Alright, incoming assassinate. Cold blood. Brings Eladin up to 11. Who shall be next? Here we go. All right, Jason brings Michael down to one life. This seems to looks like it might be Michael's last turn. Let's see if he could pull off a miracle comeback and do 18 damage. If he has unleashed the hounds, uh, a wolf, a multi shot. That's not gonna save him. It, I'm not sure what that trap is, but I don't think it's gonna be what he needs. Oh. Like it's game over. Sinister Strike for the win. Unless he tries a way to counter it. <gasps> uh, no way to counter that for a hunter. Oh! Game over. And the first match goes down to Jay Sinister. Jason takes the first match. All right, we're gonna jump right into match number two. If Michael's ready. Uh, Jason has to stick with his rogue deck, so he'll be playing that one again. And Michael could now change to either his warrior or his mage deck. So, go ahead and choose your rogue deck. And Michael, if you're ready, choose one of your next decks. Alright, so Michael's pulling out his warrior deck to try to counter Jason's rogue deck. We're going to see how it goes. So Michael's mic is on the fritz. Usually we have him talk while he's playing, but uh, he's having technical issues with it. We're trying to get it resolved, but... My brothers don't like talking that much anyways. They're, they're the strong, silent type. I talk all the time. Mm, you could tell, can't you? Alright, no turn one play coming from Michael. Jason has tons of turn ones plays he could pull out. Which one will he do? It looks like a leper gnome is going to hit the field. He feels icky. We'll see if... Uh, Warrior has a way to eliminate the Leopard Gnome, or if he's going to start eating the little green guy's damage. Looks like he's armoring up. Gonna take some damage. Gonna eat the damage. Niving it up. Bringing the Leopard Gnome to take away the armor. Here we go. Poking the Warrior in the eye. Garage, take that. Raging Wargan hitting the field. Booster Sergeant buffs up the little Leopard Gnome. The Leopard Gnome. He's gonna take out the warden because you see little green guys killing werewolves all the time in real life. All the time. Got a combo for Eviscerate, hitting the warrior for some big damage, taking him down to 23, adding the pressure. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Here we go. And poking the warrior in the eye again. Almost goes into a sinister strike as well, but I've decided to hold back. Another Worgen coming out. And a Leopard Gnome of his own. You gotta assassinate. And a knife taking out the Leopard Gnome and injuring the Worgen. Use his sergeant. Going to finish the Worgen off. One mana, you're just gonna hold on to it. Not that we're coining into or playing. Mm, I don't wanna just refresh daggers. So, so my, my
Michael's warrior is falling a bit behind, but he just pulled out Arcanite Reaper. He's going to start hitting Jason's rogue in the face pretty hard. Try to even up the damage a little bit, but he still has no creatures on the board. Open up with the Sinister Strike. That lets you combo into an SI agent for two extra damage, and now you have a minion on the board. Followed up by... Michael's warrior's bleeding life. He has a weapon. He could choose to kill your SI agent, or if he has another way to deal with it, or he has a charge creature, will he run his creature into your guy? He busts up his guy. Gonna hit you for six damage. Gonna ignore your creature and hit you for five damage. He brings your life down to 12. It looks like he's rushing you down. Are you scared? Nope. I'm the master rush down. Here. Sinister Strike hitting for three, drops him down to 14. Cold Blood hits for seven. Lights out. Ignore his creatures and hit him for seven. So right now, if he, he can't really ignore your creature because he has 7 life and you have 7 damage. I mean, he could armor up to give himself 9 life if he wanted to still risk going for your face. But this match seems to be going down to who could do the fatal damage first. Pull a Yeti to get another minion on the field. Leaving his people alive, it may, may be a mistake leaving his people alive. He got 8 damage right now on his hand. Which means you're four damage away. If he has another Arcanite Reaper, then your face is gonna get exploded. Tazingo. Right? He throws out a taunt. Does a cleave, which doesn't help. I mean he's gonna he's gonna use his Okay, he's gonna execute your Execute your Yeti. Kills your agent, hits you for six damage. That was a very good turn for him. You're gonna have to make a strong comeback to win now. I have to do it. So the assassination came out. And didn't have the mana to do anything, but can't dagger can afford a dagger in for the damage. So looks like Jason has his turns. Michael has a way to do three extra damage. He takes the second match. Alright, Michael has you in a lethal situation now if you're not careful. Doesn't look like I got a gonna win this one. Alright, so there's absolutely no choice here. You have to assassinate the shield master because he was able to do three damage. So no matter what that had to get off the field, the only way you had to remove him was assassinate. And now you're coining your cult master. Here we go. You can't attack the golem. Again, Michael is now in a situation where if he could do one extra damage, he'll pull off the win. Brings out the legendary Onyxia. He kills your minion. 
one is probably a good choice. Never know what you might pull. And it looks like Michael's going to take the second game because nothing you could do is going to prevent you from losing or winning. You're, it's, you're pretty much going to lose. Yeah. No play to be made here. At least I look pretty big. It's a GG. Throw out the golden Illidan. I personally, personally would just stab Anissia in the face, but... Right, it looks like Michael's going to even things up with the GG on this one. Just has to run some, one his dragon in on. There we go. The rogue is eliminated. The match is now evened up one to one. We're going to finish off this video with one more match and then we're going to take a break. Uh, Michael, you have to play with your warrior again since he didn't get eliminated. And Jason has to choose his mage or his warlock deck. So choose your warrior again. And uh, we'll get this third match on its way. Was the perfect rogue game again? Jade versus yep. I don't like warriors. The mistake was you're probably trying to rush down on that last part, that last stage where you left him with his his six two charge guy and his two two, and it says I'm gonna rush him down and just didn't have enough to finish him off. Alright, so turn one, you have two turn one drops that you could play if you want. Going with the Argent Squire. It's a strong opening play, it's hard to get, get rid of a Argent Squire on turn one. If he had arcane missiles on his side, he could do it, but he's not a mage. Alright, so... I fight. Hitting him with the squire and pecking at him with your fire blast. You might just armor up his turn to give himself the two life that you just took away from him in armor. Unless he has a minion he could drop for two. He didn't look like he had a lot of minions that cost two on his last one. Oh, he actually got the fiery war axe. Is he going to waste a charge on the bubble or no? Nope, he's going straight for your face again. That's an aggressive... That's an aggressive warrior you got there facing you. He's going to try to smash your face down. Breaking your bubble on him. Throwing out the arcane missiles, going a little aggro yourself. Pecking at him again. Job's done. He wants to come at me, I'll come at him. Come, come at, at me, bro. bro. Come at me, bro. <laughs> I personally probably would have just did an arcane intellect that turn instead of doing arcane missiles. Watch your draws. Yeah, because having the arcane missiles, if you would have one or two to hit the worgen, you've been able to eliminate them. Now, right now, you don't have anything to eliminate the worgen. I mean, you could either sheep them or you could just throw out something else. But right now, you don't have the firepower to hurt the worgen enough. Uh, if you would have kept your missiles, you would have needed one of them to hit them. And then you could run your girl's bubble and your fire blast into them. Or if two would have hit them, then you could just fire blast them. But... Not only that, but if you would have did your arcane intellect like last turn, you would have more choices this turn, but now that worgen might prove to be a problem. And then if you're wasting uh, using a sheep on him, I mean, I there you go. Of course, if he brings out another Onyxia or another... It could hurt. I know he has Grimash in this deck, too, so... That brings out a weapon. He'll oh, he's gonna actually smack your face with the weapon. I thought that charge is definitely gonna hit your Archer Squire, but I guess that she's just sitting around doing nothing. No reason to clear it off the board, I guess. Right, and you're gonna bring out a. Uh... 
gonna bring out a water elemental. He has a strong lifeline. So, I mean, he would have to use his creature and his weapon, and that won't even kill your elemental. Plus, if he gets hit, if he hits your elemental, that actually freezes him for any future turns of weapon swings, or at least his next turn. Not like future, future, but. Alright, brings up a strong taunt. That might be a little bit difficult for you to deal with. Um, he seems to be having an effective strategy of rushing you down, actually, at the moment, which usually I don't try to do, but it looks like his dealt deck seems to be built well for it. Get it, ignoring your creatures, it's just hitting you with the damage. Right, throwing a little freeze on him. And giving yourself a couple card draws. Gotta hit the taunt, Jason. Gotta hit the taunt. I don't wanna do it. Doesn't matter if he's frozen, you still gotta do it. Either do it or ignore him. Alright. Alright, Michael's frozen on his turn. Let's see what card he decides to play. Michael seems to have an effective board on you at the moment. Brings out a uh, charge. Will he just hit you in the face with this charge? It looks like he's gonna buff his guy up again, maybe. Mm, no, he's not gonna buff him. Mm, are he? No, wait. He's actually gonna rampage. That was that was a very good play, rampaging his taunt. That's gonna make everything more difficult for you. A flame strike here eliminates everything but his fan creeper, and then you would have to run your frost elemental to kill it. So you clear his board effectively, and you still got the Argent Squire that just would not die. Unfortunately, he seems to have a rushdown deck, and he got you down to 13 life, so that's something to worry about. I'm worried. Alright, got some strong taunt. You're gonna have to hope for a sheep. If you didn't waste your sheep on the worgen earlier, it would be a good time to have it, but now you gotta hope that you draw one. So Mana Worm comes up. Follow that up with a spell to buff up the Mana Worm and put Michael's characters on lockdown and it takes off the shield and freezes the Sunwalker, eliminates the Leper Gnome, although it does do two more damage which brings you down to 11. And you get yourself some more cards which also charges up your Mana Worm. And the turn is going to end there. So Jason has cards in his hand that he could play but his life is getting closer to being lower than he would like. Got a sea giant on the field, another tough minion that's going to be somewhat difficult for Jason to deal with. And this might not be done yet, wait. Not sure what he was going to do to him with one life, he might have wanted to interrage it, but I think he's going to hold off on that and wait to see what Jason does. Frostbolt is going to hit the jump card. Alright, the Frostbolt's going to hit the Sunwalker, followed by a Frostbolt to the Giant. With five mana still lit, there's a Ping coming. Gonna finally get rid of the Argent Squire. And... So that, that spell, Mirror Entity, actually counts as a spell, so you kind of juke yourself out of a point yeah. of damage there if you wanted to play it. I just noticed that just now. Doesn't make me happy, but... So now you're not playing the Mirror Entity because you didn't get the point? Yeah. <laughs> and 9 mana, this might be when Grimage comes out, so you might have wanted to play that Mirror Entity. If he had something big in his hand, it's coming out this turn, so... Alright, Moral Strike gets rid of your... Hmm. That could have been damage on you, but he finally decided to go for your minion. 
Rant paid you not. He's thinking that you do not have another um, sheep in your deck, another polymorph. If you draw a polymorph, that's great. If not, all right. He might crush you. He 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 might have lethal. He, well, he definitely has lethal with. He definitely has lethal with this giant. I'm not sure if you have anything that's gonna stop it. Doesn't look like it. So I think your best bet was using your mana worm to take out the giant when you could, but you figured he was frozen and he was sa he was gonna be safe. Yeah. And you kill him next turn, but. Looks like Illidan comes out right at the end of another loss. Looks like Michael's Warrior is going to take two games in a row thanks to a buffed up giant. Illidan's on the field just to watch Jaina die once more. Going to go ahead and enrage the giant because 11 damage isn't enough. Let's give him 13. And let's give him a taunt. Oh, wait. What? What? <laughs> That's what Michael gets for trying to be cute. Now Jason, he just gave Jason a taunt. Just gave Jason a taunt that he has to run in and kill. This fight is not over. So he made a big mistake. Let's see if you could capitalize it on it. I'm not sure if you still have enough to actually turn it over and win because you don't have what it takes to eliminate the giant but it was kind of funny that he, he kind of was trying to get oh I'm gonna play all my stuff and be cool and then delays the game actually yeah you wouldn't have done it anyways who shall be next to taste my blades? If you would have, if you would have pinged, if you would have played your cult master and then pinged one of your two one guys, it would have gave you a chance to get a card draw because anytime the cult masters, one of your minions die, you would have got a card. So what you should have done that turn was with your first four mana, you should have played your cult master. Then you should have pinged your two one guys. So basically, I'm just I'm praying at that point. So yeah, it, it, you were. I mean, you deserve to lose that match. That was that that was it. All right, everybody. So that's our first part of this match. Jason just went down with his second deck. Michael has two to go. Michael still has his warrior and uh, his uh, mage. Yeah, his warrior and mage, and. Uh, Jason is down to his Warlock deck, so we're going to see that Warlock deck in the next video versus Michael's Warrior. We'll see if Jason can pull the comeback. Uh, Michael is in the lead, and we're going to finish up the video here. I have been Calibus. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been Hearthstone, Brother on Brother Bashing Tournament, and I'll catch you next time.